Okay, so now we're going to add uh, some extra attributes, just a couple. One is the swivel, so that when the foot comes up, we can start to make him pivot from the ball of the joint. So, or somewhere in the middle here. So if the if the ball was going to come up, sometimes it's handy for, for us to sort of pivot of the center of this mass, uh, which happens quite quite a lot actually when um, people playing sports or running fast or putting out cigarettes and things like that. So I'm going to call this the swivel control, but you can call it whatever you like. So now what's going to, not what we're going to do is we need a pivot for this to happen. And we're going to use another pivot from our, uh, our actual reverse foot. So let's bring that up and we're going to close the geo off for a second. And you can see that we've got all these pivots here, which is just sort of happening now. If I actually bring up that in the outline and hit F, and we can shift, hold it down, shift, and open that up. You can see that this is just simply a pivot hierarchy. So if I have a pivot there, there's another pivot there at the front toe. I've got another pivot for the ball, another pivot for the ankle. There's a pivot sort of parented to the toe for the, for this toe roll thing. So we just this is just a whole bunch of pivots that are in a nice hierarchy. And we're going to add another pivot pivot here for the center, right here for the center of this uh, swivel control. So the easiest way to sort of to create this uh, is a bit of a different example. We could create a locator like we did before and just put it here. That's not a problem. I'm going to use a bit of a different technique that's just a different way of doing this. So there's many ways to skin a cat, so to speak, in my. So let's do it this way. Now, I'm going to use this joint here. We're going to duplicate it and move it over to this point here. Now I could just create a new joint from scratch, but this one's already oriented it nicely, and you can see that if we move it straight back, it's going to be in the right spot and kind of oriented all nicely, ready for us to go. So what we have to do is really duplicate this control, and I'm just going to move this whole thing. Now when I duplicated that, then I'm going to undo that and we'll do it through the menu. So you go edit, duplicate, which is our standard duplicate. And now we can bring that up, and we can see that it's created a duplicate of the FK sort of control area, and it's created all this extra stuff. We can see it in the outliner here, this toe control. I can actually unparent that now, and we can see it there in the outliner. So Shift P to unparent, open that up. It's got all this extra garbage that's duplicated along with it that we don't need. So we can just delete all of that. So I've just deleted everything except for this one locator. It's now sitting there by itself which is fine. Uh, okay, a good tip for snapping that back, we can just snap that back with the, the V key or the, the question mark on my keyboard shortcuts. Uh, another way of doing that is we can actually parent it back to the toe. So I'm going to parent that in so you can see that this is now a child <coughs> of the toe joint. Now we're going to, before we do all this, we're going to re rename this and instead of calling it toe, let's call it swivel. That's swivel. This is our swivel joint and we can zero it out, so that will zero it out. Now that it's in the hierarchy, we can zero that out and it'll snap back to the toe. And now that we've got our axis all aligned, make sure that we hold down the W key, click and hold, and we can make sure we're in object mode. We can move back just on the X axis to about where we want that to pivot from. So right in the middle of that kind of, kind of area here. <coughs> so you can see how that would be pivoting even move it a little bit back if you want it a little bit toward the back, it's fine. And now we have a nice little pivot for that, so switching off the geo again, let's uh, hook this up properly. So I'm going to unparent that, we know it's in the right place again, uh, and that's all ready to go. Now the reason why I've unparented it is because we actually want it to be the parent of the toe. So we're going to select the toe and we're going to parent it in to the swivel control. Now what you can see is that everything has sort of moved and is now under the swivel. And we can rotate our swivel joint here. And we've got a nice pivot. Switch back on the geo. You can see how that's kind of affecting it. So you can see how we're sort of are doing a bit of surgery on this on this foot setup. We're not actually building it from scratch in a correct order, we're just putting it in after we've built out all the controls, which is definitely another way of working in my so now that that's in place, we're missing our heel control because this is obviously not connected anymore to our heel. So let's simply parent that back to the heel in place. And we can do that. 
Now the reason why this we can add this after we've hooked up all our controls is you notice that that control, that toe point control, is still all nicely zeroed out because it's not actually changing its rotation at all when we created this new control. Now if you just parented that in with a locator that wasn't aligned correctly to that toe, that toe, because it's zeroed out, might suddenly snap and switch across to something else. So you've got to be very careful when you do this sort of thing. But in this case, I know that because I've used exactly the same joint, that's exactly going to stay zeroed out at that point. So a nice swivel control there, which is kind of cool for us. Ready to go. So we have to hook that off, obviously, up into this section here to the, to the control. So let's do that very quickly. Modify, add attribute. And I'm just going to create another nice little divider. This time we have to put <coughs> two underscores because we've already used the one underscore here for a divider. Uh, we're going to go back to displayable and we're going to call it an enum. And instead of these defaults, let's call it something like extra. It doesn't really matter what you call these names, it's just dividing it nicely for the animators. So we can hit add. Got a nice extra. So we're sort of subdividing up all these sections. Now what we can do is go back to a float <coughs> and we're going to add our actual control which we just called swivel. Now it's no need to have a roll control on this one or other ones, it's just really for this rotate uh, around here which on this control is the rotate Z. So we're just going to create one. We've created that uh, called swivel back on here. So let's type in swivel hit add, make sure it's a uh, float. We have our swivel control. Let's just hook that together up now so we can go window, general editors, connection editor. That's, re that's loaded on the left hand side so let's come down to swivel, select our actual joint itself which is called swivel reverse foot left and we want to come into our rotation and we've checked what, what rotation that is, it's the Z rotation so let's just hook that up to Z and now we can come back here and our swivel happens from our Z rotation so let's disappear that reverse foot to see what the animator will see and you can see we have a nice reverse foot there we can bank up that and even now we've still got our nice pivot for the, for the ball joint okay so Let's reset that to zero. <coughs> it's kind of nice. And the last step we're going to do is make some banking controls so that the foot can kind of bank off these pivots over here and bank bank on a pivot from that side and bank on a pivot from that side. So we'll do this with a driven key and we'll fly through it. So uh, that will be in the next lesson.